Hey guys, I'm making a really simple savory supper tonight with wild mushrooms and some um, creamy beans and truffle and I have chills already. It's super easy. It's vegetarian, healthy, and it's great in like these winter months when you just want something like yummy in your, in your tummy. Okay, so we're going to get started. I have a my beautiful baby blue La Crisse heating up. It's going to be like super, super hot. And you want that when you're sauteing mushrooms because you want to really get those mushrooms in a hot pan and get them crispy. We don't want them to steam. So I'm going to put a little bit of olive oil in here and you'll see that oil is just dancing around. Okay. And you want that. You don't need to put too much oil. The mushrooms are going to naturally release um, water. Okay. So it's going to sizzle right away. And you know, mushrooms are so great. They're really meaty. They're, you know, if I were to become a vegetarian, I would probably eat mushrooms every day because they taste very meaty more than anything else. And they're a great meat substitute and they're really healthy. And, um, you know, you don't have to buy expensive mushrooms. You can use a button mushroom, any mushroom that you wish, okay? And also what you wanna know about mushrooms is whatever you start with, you're gonna kind of end up with half of that. So that looks like a lot of mushrooms. It's about um, three cups of mushrooms. It's, gonna, it's really gonna cook down a lot. Okay, so we're gonna leave that. We don't wanna touch them. We don't wanna move them around. It's like when you're grilling something, you know, you know, like salmon or chicken or a vegetable on the grill, don't move it. I know it's so tempting. You just want to take your tongs and move it around. Just let it sit. Okay, in the meantime, I have a, my little mini chop here. And in it, I have one can of pinto beans. You can use any beans you like. Um, you can use garbanzo beans. You can use white um white beans, cannellini beans, you can use black beans. I'm using pinto beans because that's what I have. And to that, I'm going to make this very garlicky. So you can use as much garlic as you want or none at all. I'm going to put four cloves of garlic into my beans in this little mini chop and we're going to puree it. Not, not crazy puree, but we're just going to mash it up. I mean, it's so simple, right? And we're, we're gonna leave a little bit of the beans intact so there's some integrity in there. And I have this small pan heating up here. And to that, I'm going to add a little bit of vegetable stock, okay? And the reason why I'm doing that is because, is because I don't want my beans to burn. I want them to cook slowly and get this delicious savory taste and I don't wanna burn my garlic. So I added a little bit of stock. If you don't want to add vegetable stock, you could add water. It would be totally fine. Or you could add a little bit of white wine. You could add a little bit of beer if you wanted to. It would be kind of nice. Okay, so I'm taking these beans out. And this is just one can of beans, which is probably like 99 cents. So inexpensive. And this is going to go a long way. Okay, I mean, this is going to be for me and Parks for Din. But it's probably going to be enough for like four people. So Parks, I know you know you're filming. You're not on camera with me right now, but you're obviously in the room with me since we're just living yeah. living this COVID life together. Yeah. Um, thank God we're together. But um, what do you think? Where where do you see this going? This dish right now? Well, do you have I, any idea what's no, happening? No, I know we got <laughs> mushrooms, we got beans, and I'm not quite sure how they come together. Okay. Uh, uh, you know, I don't have a clue. Okay, that's okay. <laughs> So, what did you call it? What's the recipe called? Um, it's like crispy mushrooms over like a creamy bean, and there's going to be a little kale and a little truffle in there, and some surprises. Okay. So I'm going to turn up the beans just a tiny bit, and I want to season this with some salt and some black pepper, and of course we have that garlic in there. Okay. And you could season this with cumin. You could put smoked paprika, you could put curry. I mean, this is really like the world is your oyster. Okay, so I haven't touched our mushrooms. They're starting to um, let out a little bit of liquid, so I'm just gonna gently move them around. And you can see that color on the bottom. Color equals flavor, right? So as I move them around, 
because the mushrooms have a lot of moisture, they're actually going to like deglaze themselves, right? So I don't have to add anything. So you see how I have the brown on the bottom there? The fond, F-O-N-D. So as I move these around, you're gonna see that's gonna disappear because it's naturally deglazing and getting that fond off the bottom. And we wanna get that fond off the bottom because the fond is flavor, color is flavor, brown is good flavor. And um, we don't want that flavor to burn. If you let that go too long, it will burn and be bitter. So we don't want that. So you see how that just naturally came up without adding any liquid because the mushrooms are very watery. Now, you know, there's an interesting thing about mushrooms and people, you know, it's, it can be a little controversial. Um, you know, mushrooms are, they grow in the ground and they can be very dirty, but they also absorb water like a sponge. They're very, you know, porous that way. So I generally don't wash my mushrooms because I don't want them to absorb all that liquid to then have to cook them and have that liquid come out again. They already have enough water content in there. So what I do is I look at the mushroom. If it looks like it has debris on it, which is generally just like earth, dirt, I just take a paper towel, moisten it a little bit, and I just wipe the mushrooms and I get that dirt off. And that's it. And then I cook it. So, you know, if you're eating them raw, maybe you want to wash them a little bit, but I never do. Okay. So now I want to add... Now that the mushrooms have let out a little bit of liquid, I want to add a little bit of salt, which is also going to help release the liquid in these mushrooms. And you can see already they've really cut down by like half, right, Parks? Yeah. Okay, and I'm going to add some black pepper because I love my black pepper. And then to add an extra flavor profile on here, I'm going to make a little hot spot in the middle of, of this pan. And I really like leeks with mushrooms. And I think leeks are a very underrated um, vegetable. So, you know, it's like a big scallion. It's very mellow in flavor. You only use the light part of the leek. They also tend to be dirty because they grow deep into the ground. And sometimes there's a lot of dirt. So I tend to cut them up, put them in a bowl with cold water, let the dirt fall to the bottom, scoop it out gently. Don't pour this into a strainer because then the dirt will go right back in. So you want to just be mindful of that with leeks, okay? So we have a little oil there, and I'm adding those in the middle. They're going to wilt really quickly, and they're going to add a really delicious flavor. Okay, so over here, you see our beans. That liquid that we added, that little vegetable stock, is just kind of helping these beans, like, get a little bit pureed. This is going to be the base of our dish. It's going to be like a little kind of sauce on the bottom of our mushrooms, right? Almost like a, a polenta. Um, and, you know, we're using this instead of a grain. But what would be really nice with this would be some rice or some farro or some wheat berries. Um, you know, so many things you can do with this. But we're going straight vegetarian. We're going healthy. See how creamy that is, Parks? Can you get, get yeah. close on that? Yeah. Isn't that pretty? Yeah, very creamy. So parks, yep. here, just put your finger in there for a second and just taste that and you'll see how much flavor that is. That's just a can of beans with some garlic, some oh, salt and pepper. That was really nice. And some vegetable stock. And, by the way, quite hot. Huh? Really? <laughs> yeah, my like it. <laughs> well, she didn't scream, so I'm not going to scream. Poor thing. <laughs> All right, so now I'm going to add just a tiny uh, bit more olive oil in here. And let's move these around. So beautiful. And this is just a really simple, rustic kind of country dish, right? Okay. Okay. okay, so the other thing I want to do is, and this is totally optional, but I love kale that's cooked gently, okay? Oh. So I'm going to add a little bit of uh, curly kale to our mushrooms for a little bit of extra, you know, nutrition and green and color and just, it's really, really beautiful. Oh. A little bit more pepper to that. And if you don't like kale, I mean, it's so good. You know, it's so funny. Kale used to just be, you know, that, that leafy green in the supermarket that was the bed of everything to like elevate, you know, whatever was on the shelf. And it's so inexpensive and it's, you know, the hottest, green right now you either like it or you don't 
I really happen to like it. It's got a lot of texture to it. Um, it can be chewy, but when you cook it, it really softens up and, it, and it's very hearty. And I think it goes very well with beans and mushrooms. So we're using kale, but if you don't like kale, um, feel free to substitute, you know, Swiss chard, or you can substitute spinach. Um, you could put in a, a bunch of scallions. You could put peas in here. I mean, this is a vegetarian meal, so whatever you guys like. Okay, so this is literally like almost done right here. Okay, we're letting our beans thicken up over there. I'm gonna turn that down just a speck. I'm gonna add just a touch, maybe literally a quarter cup of vegetable stock to this to deglaze again what's on the bottom. Because most of these mushrooms have really released their liquid already, so we need just like a little bit of help, okay? So just a quarter cup, okay? Okay, so we got all that, that brown off the bottom. That's gonna help our kale. Look at that bright green color. That just sets the tone. Really, really beautiful. So now I'm gonna actually turn this up to a very high heat for the end of cooking because I want these to kind of crisp up a little bit. And I'm going to add some sesame seeds. Some toasted sesame seeds. And the reason why I'm doing that is because in addition to, you know, my motto of layering flavors, I like, <clears throat> excuse me, layering textures. So we have the soft mushrooms and the creamy beans, but we want a little bit of crunch. So you can add sesame seeds. If you don't like sesame seeds, you can add sliced almonds. You can add pine nuts would be delicious just for a little bit of texture, right? You know what I mean, Parks? Yeah, I You're do. You with me? Yeah, I am. I wouldn't have thought of that, but I, I, I get it. Okay. Yeah, that's cool. Okay, so that's about that. Let me just taste one of our mushrooms here and just see how the flavor is. Mm. Really, really good. Okay, so we were in Mexico, um, I don't know, two years ago now maybe, and um, we were visiting uh, Miss Nancy Drew, Pammy, your bud. Pammy who lives in, uh, well, I won't see where she lives. Anyway, she's in Mexico. And um, they have this really cool condiment store with spices. And this is porcini salt. So I'm gonna just use this as, again, another layer of flavor. Porcini mushrooms? Porcini mushroom yeah. dried, ground with salt. Wow. Okay, so that's gonna add a really beautiful layer of flavor. If you don't have porcini salt, just, you know, maybe use a little Malden sea salt. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off. I'm also gonna add a little bit of truffle oil here as our final condiment. And then I have some rosemary. And I'm just gonna take a little scissor and just chop a tiny bit, really, really small, fine. Instead of doing like a fine dice, I'm just using my scissor, I'm kind of cheating. Okay. Party made parts. Okay, so that's it. So this is done. And you know, you could do both of these things way in advance and then um, leave them on the stove. And then when you have your guests, you can just quickly warm them up. Okay? Okay, so we're going to plate it up. So I'm making just like this beautiful bed with these pinto beans with the garlic. Oh my God. See that? Yeah. Just using the spoon to create like a little bowl. A little bowl. And then I'm gonna come around you. Let me just go this way, Pax. Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, Parks. I was blocking it. Okay, look at this. Wow. Looks beautiful. It's beautiful and wow. it's hearty and like with a glass of red wine. You know, would be really, really nice. Okay, and then as the final touch, I'm gonna just add a little bit of lemon juice because acid really helps bring out the flavor. And a little, just lemon garnish, which is just so pretty. We can put like a little rosemary garnish on there. And then we're gonna add Parker's favorite thing in the whole world. Some Parmesan cheese. And if you want, you know, this could be a completely vegan dish and you can just leave the cheese off, okay? But 
mushrooms and Parmesan cheese just really pair well together. So you can put as much as little as you like. Isn't that gorgeous? That's it, guys. Wow. Let me turn off that fan. Isn't that beautiful? Can we get a close-up of that? Yeah. Let me just get right in there. Oh, so beautiful. And again, this is something that would be really beautiful, you know, to have leftovers. Warm it up. You could serve it with some rice. You could chop up some tofu in here. You can add some chopped tomatoes on top, some avocado. Okay, let's try. I love the vibrant green kale. Mm. Damn, girl. I don't know about you. It's pretty good. What's it called again? <laughs> it's called delicious. <laughs> it's crispy mushrooms over pinto beans with kale and truffle. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I wonder why you're so fixated on the name. Well, you should be fixated on get, the flavor. I've never seen anything like it before. Okay, I'm, I'm, I'm getting a bite. I'm take a bite. I'm gonna spit it right on my dog. Mm. <laughs> How is wow. it? Wow. Delicious and healthy. Mm -hmm. Anyway, guys, that's it. I know you can do it. Radhika, this is for you, babe.